spring up or the leg loops down. It doesn't matter. It's like just a preference being close to the ground. Okay. First thing we're going to do is do the floating pigeon. We pull the right foot in, grab the leg loop with both hands and just let the hips drop as the foot comes in towards the chest. So it's not towards the knee. It's actually towards the chest. So drop your hips in a square position. Yeah. What do you mean on a square? But they're... Square the hips instead oh, of this. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And then pull the foot in towards the chest. Yeah. Good. If you want, you can actually grab the knee too. Right? Mm -hmm. There you go. So you can either grab the leg loops or actually help assist like you would be on the floor, you know, and they do the whole rocky thing here. Okay. Now the other stretch, which I call the money pose, is you're going to push the knee down towards the ground. Now this hip will all automatically lift, but just focus on the knee tractioning down. It's a totally different stretch, right? Amazing. Good. That was great. Now we're going to straighten that out. Just take a nice inhalation here. Exhale to the arms. You can always lean back a little to give the arms a break, right? Sometimes it's a lot. And then second side, bend the left knee in, grab. First, we just hold on to the leg loop, get the hips square, let the hips drop even more. Yes, see the difference? And then the foot comes towards the chest. Mm -hmm. So we can stay here or help the knee in as well. So this is more of a glute stretch. And then this leg is engaged but relaxed, you know, like I'm pushing down into it. And then the second pose, obviously you can stay for like five to 10 breaths here just like we would in a pigeon. And then the second pose is pushing the knee down towards the ground. So the more the knee comes down, the more we're opening up the back of the iliac crest. Nice. Okay, good. So those are the two versions of the floating pigeon. Inhale, open up and do the wide straddle T. Take your time, of course. Stay long with your legs. I call this star, right? So lean the heart up towards the sky. The hips don't move. You got it. Lean up even more. Yes. There you go. This is starfish. Now we're going to inhale, come back to second side, the first side. Bring the right knee in. So I'm going to climb up. Okay. Let the foot find the inner thigh. Yes. And then switch hands. There you go. Beautiful side tree. So this is also called Flying Ninja, depending on how sassy we're feeling that day. Beautiful. So the knee keeps tractioning down towards the ground, which means the hips press forward strongly. Like these? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Really nice lines. Okay, come back through center, open it up. Pause. So let's just take a moment to neutralize the spine. And then left knee bends in on the next inhalation. Reach around, grab the leg loop, help the bottom of the foot on the inner thigh, and then keep holding on with the right, the left arm can fly. Beautiful. Keep pressing the hips forward, traction the knee down towards the ground. Hmm. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna come back to our first side. So open it up, sit down nice and slow. So we're gonna go from the side tree into supermodel. Right leg, I know, right? <laughs> right leg comes in, flying ninja to supermodel. We hold on so we can get into it a little faster. Now bend the knee, the top leg, bend the elbow, support your head, and just let yourself arch back. Nice, this is supermodel. <laughs> okay, from supermodel we can get into a bind pigeon. So now you can release your leg loop, keep leaning back, hold on to your foot, and then hook your hands if you can, with your fingertips. You got it. Into your elbow crease. Uh-huh. Yeah, like that. Just keep leaning back and it'll help a little bit. Mm -hmm. So hand does not wrap around the swing. Hand is back behind you like this. Yeah. And then you can, yeah. Cross your fingers. If it's comfortable. Don't need to go too far, but beautiful. Now we're going to unfurl slowly, right? Be careful with the knees. Ah, really good. So one more time, right? <laughs> Left leg in, reach for the leg loop, get it into the inner thigh. 
then we come through our side tree, then we can bend the elbow, bend the knee, supermodel. We're still holding onto the leg loop first. So bend the elbow, bend the knee, just lean back. This is, this is all levels. So the, the, the binded pigeon, of course, is more advanced. So you can let go of the leg loop, use that right arm to reach back, slide into the elbow crease, and then hook your fingers if it's possible. Mm -hmm. Big stretch. Nice. Lean back into it if you can. Yeah, there it is. Slowly unfurl. Make sure the knees stay happy. Yeah. Good transitions. Awesome. So from here, we're going to get into our swing bada. So we do one leg and then the other leg, and then we do both knees bent, feet together, push the knees out wide. So the hips aren't lifted, but they're not dropped. They're kind of in the middle. There you go. Press the knees open, keep the feet together. And then we're gonna reach up as high as we can for the leg loops, right? Forward, forward towards me. Yeah, so reach up for the leg loops. Yeah, as high as you can. Keep the feet pressed. Yep, lift the hips, but lean back with the heart and chest. Straight arms, this flying monkey, let it feel good. And then we inhale, do a bicep curl and come to sit on your feet. Inhale up. Mm -hmm. Good. Exhale, lean back. Open up. Take a few deep breaths there. We're going to stretch the front of the neck. Inhale up. Bicep curl. Very good. Exhale, sit back. Inhale up. Okay, so we did this yesterday. Let's see if we can figure it out again. So this, there's a space, see that space right there? So I keep my arm around the swing, but it comes in front of the leg loop. That little space right there. Yes, that's it. You got it. Nice, you made it look so much easier than I did. Okay, so keep pressing your hips down towards the ground. Let the arms be out wide. They're like T arms right now for skydiver. Now from skydiver, we can bend the elbows and then drop the heart. Head is relaxed in this position. That looks great. <sighs> So nice and slow, we're going to start to straighten the arms. Let your hands catch mm. the swing. This feels so good. You can okay. take your time. Yeah. So, also, I'm bringing the arms out. Yeah, you let yourself slide down towards the ground, so you straighten the arms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So from here, there's so many different variations, but the first one we do is just hang. So you can clasp the elbows and let yourself hang, or clasp behind the neck and let yourself hang. So soup the bada. Good. Okay. And then the other one I was showing you is where you press your hands into your thighs uh -huh. and straighten your torso. So oh. I'm lengthening through the lumbar spine. So you're not lifting too much, you're just lengthening. Yeah, so when yeah. I press my arms straight, my shoulders Okay. Come up to my ears, and then I get some more space. Yeah, I think I'm doing it. Yeah, that's because it. Because I feel this. I feel how my sacrum is lengthening. That's right. This is an amazing stretch for the sacrum. Really hard spot to open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have a, I have it very tight. Yeah. And then I do these tiny little micro movements from side to side. I just turn one shoulder forward, and then yes. On the shoulder forward, just slow everything down so they're micro movements. Just like this? Yeah, that looks great. I can see you in your video, which is great. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, and then slowly release the hands down to the ground. Welcome towards me. Handstand arms again. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Okie dokie. So we practice this on the ground, and so we're going to reach back. I'm reaching back with my left. You can use whatever arm, and I'm going to grab for the swing, and then I pull it overhead. Mm -hmm. You got it. Reach up. This one? Nope. Center. Yep. So once I, yep, pull it overhead, make an X in it. Yes. That's what we were practicing on the ground, right? That's strength. Then take the X out. Then take the X out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. So now we have the shoulder stretch again. Keep the chest lifted. That's great. And then you're just going to come back up to sit on your feet and get it behind you. So use your balance to get it underneath your arms. Yeah. Nice and easy. <laughs> yeah. Good. 
good transition. <laughs> and then straighten out the legs and give the knees a little break. So that was Flying Butterfly. <laughs> yeah. From, from our soup de bata. Okay, cool. I want to do some leg stretches with you just because you have really nice open hips and awareness in the body. So it's fun <laughs> to do them with you. So we're going to reach and grab for the leg loops, flex the feet back. Mm -hmm. Really good. So just take a moment to roll the ankles around, give the legs a break. So I'm going to reach up as high as I can. Okay. So, it, you know, the floating pigeon was like this. So this is going to be our floating lunge. So turn the knee in. So bend the knee first. Yeah, okay, good. And then straighten both legs. But keep holding on to the leg loop because this is your anchor. You can even hook the elbow if you want to go a little bit deeper. No, thank you. Sir. Okay, this is enough. Okay, good. So our floating lunge. Okay. If somebody's super tight, they can actually do this with the knee too. So if it's too much for the hamstring, it's okay. Okay. And then we're going to roll back through center. Okay, second side. Yeah, and then straighten. Good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you can hook or keep your arms. Yeah, straight. my quads are tight. Mm -hmm. These are such a good, such good quad stretches. It's amazing because you're just dropping in. The more you just drop your hips, the deeper you go. It's awesome. Okay, so we're going to come into Arda Varasana. So here I do want you to hook your elbow, or at least hold on. Yeah. Just hold on and you're going to lean back so release the front leg loop and lean back pull the heel in towards your glute if you can yeah there you go just lean back arm overhead Ardha Sukta Varasana right so come back you always grab first change sides so pull the knee in and then the second side roll it over keep holding on the back leg loop bring the heel in mm -hmm. And then you can release the front hand overhead. Beautiful. So the more you lean back into it, the deeper the quad stretch. Mm -hmm. Can you lean back a little bit more? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, you're going to reach forward again. Grab for the leg loop. Now let's come into the full supta varasana. So both feet, both knees turn it over towards the ground. Do one at a time. Yeah. And then the other one. Pull it in. Yes. Keep holding on. I know, amazing, huh? So as much as you can, you can either stay up or you can lean back. Keep your balance. Nice. Isn't that amazing? I don't do Sutta Rasana on the ground anymore, so this is such a nice way of getting into it. All right, we're going to come out nice and slow. Watch how I come out. So sit up for me. I'm just going to pull the knees forward, and they're going to slide into chillaxin. Really nice. Good job. <laughs> okay, so chillax and pose. I'm so tight in my quads. Yeah, well, we'll get into the dancing Shiva and that'll help a lot too. It's really good. So we did, we're, we're not 